Hi, I'm Simon Jones from hitfilm.com here with a very brief, very small tutorial. We just uploaded this visual effects test, which was just something we were playing around with earlier. And of course, the first thing people said was, can we have a tutorial? So we thought we'd throw something together really quick. This is actually a really simple effect, although the result is kind of nice. Uh, we started off with a particle simulator, uh, which is one of the standard things you get in HitFilm Ultimate. Um, throw it on, and you can see it's just a standard point-based particle system spewing particles out. The first thing we did was we added a force, just using the default settings, so it's a global direction, pointing downwards, and that kind of acts a bit like gravity, so you can see the particles start to fall straight down. As you can see, they're hitting a deflector here. This is actually a cuboid shape which we've uh, inverted. So we've reduced the scale down until it goes into negative values and then got it to kind of the right shape. The reason we inverted it is this means that any particles inside the cube that hit the edges will bounce off the inside of the cube. So it's kind of like a, a big hollow cube rather than a solid cube. So initially it hits the floor of the cube, as you can see, but what we've done is added a few keyframes so that the cube deflector shape itself starts to rotate. As it rotates, you can see the particles moving up the wall and then falling down to the next surface. This rotational movement gives the impression of a kind of wave machine. Uh, we added some more keyframes here just to rotate it on two axes. So if we switch back to the other view, you can see that uh, the wave machine-like movement is actually being created just by this cube rotating. Because it's an invisible deflector, um, you end up with a kind of an interesting watery-like wave machine look. So yeah, that's just one example of what you can do with deflectors. This is a single deflector we're using here. You can add as many as you want, as, you know, as long as your computer can actually keep up with it. Uh, you can have multiple cubes, multiple planes. You can use video or image layers and build up any kind of complex deflector-based scene you want to do. And obviously, if you combine this with a live action shot, you can get some really interesting results. So hope this was useful and uh, go and play with deflectors because they're great fun.